If you want cool looking paper effects for your music videos keep watching. So in this video I am going to do this effect with Photoshop. With that being said let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. If you guys know any faster way to do this effect let me know in the comments. But for me this is the fastest and the best way to do this effect. So in Premiere Pro I have this video here where I just made a cut between two clips where I am going to do the paper transition effect. So first select the second clip and make a snapshot on the first frame. This is the clip where I am going to do the paper transition on. Save this snapshot somewhere you will find it back. Import this snapshot into Photoshop. Click Window Workspaces and click 3D. Now the first thing you will need to do is create a video timeline. On the right is going to be 4 bars and click on set timeline. Now you will need to change the frame rate to the frame rate of you clips. You can check this one in Premiere Pro by clicking on the clip and properties of the clip. Now we need to cut him out. You can use the brush tool in Photoshop. With the selection made I'm going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V that'll copy and paste it and I'm going to uncheck the bottom layer and I should have just my selection ready now. Here's where it gets complicated so with a 24 frame per second timeline that means there's 24 frames in a whole second of the video. I like to make my animations 3 frames, so I'm going to go to 15 frames. And on the 16th frame I'm just gonna go one frame back. Make sure the top layer selected, layer 1 which is our layer with nothing behind it and click on the scissor tool and that would cut it. Now just select on the second layer copy and just delete that. Now drag your little video playback loop and drag it to the end because we're going to work backward, it'll be the easiest way. Okay we're gonna go 3 frames to the left. We're gonna click the little scissor button and that'll make our end frame. Now we just need to go 3 frames back after this one. Then make sure this layer is selected and then click the scissor button. Now we can start doing our paper effects. So I want him to unfold and unfold into like himself. Click on this little lasso tool I like to use the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just going to click and cut off his face halfway. With the same layer selected I'm going to right click, make sure these you still have a selection and click on free transform now I'm just going to drag this down to about the same size you can also hold shift and control. I'm going to press enter and then now I should still have my selection selected you can tell by this dotted lines around the selection. I'm going to press ctrl C and ctrl V. The reason why I did this is so we can have more options to edit this part. This will make a second layers. What I like to do is to cut this layer to the length of this second frame and I'm going to delete the excess. Now I should have two frames on top of each other. I'm going to double click the layer now, I'm going to click on pattern overlay. You can already see there's a paper texture. Now you're going to need two things from Brusheasy. You're going to need this Arter Artist Paper Texture Patterns too, and then you're also going to need this Torn Paper Brushes. Just go ahead and download those and install them by clicking on the downloaded files. Make sure you have Drop Shadow selected that's going to sell your effect a lot. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to the left three times again. And I'm going to drag now this layer to the left. Now I'm going to select the bottom layer again and then press the scissors button it will cut the layers and now the reason we did this is because this is kind of our starting point for the second fold. So that being said is we're gonna need to select this layer, now go back to the polygonal lasso tool and now I'm going to select around him I'm gonna right click while having the selection click free transform and I'm just going to hold shift this time and move this down like this. Press Ctrl C Ctrl V again it'll make another layer make sure you move that layer to the left and align it with the layer you want on top of it press select the layer press the scissors tool delete the excess. And now what we need to do again is we need to go over to the right here double click it add the pattern overlay I'm going to use the same pattern and then add the drop shadow. With the torn paper brushes you can make in your effect cooler. You can select any layer you want and cut the paper with the brushes to make it look more realistic. 
The way I'm changing the brush direction is by opening the paper tab and then moving this around. So now you keep on following these steps until you're finished. You can also remove some parts with a mask to perfection at your effect like I'm doing here. And I also added a paper texture that I googled. And added them as clip and mask on the different layers. This gives a realistic paper effect. Now you will need to click on File Export and render the video. Now you need these settings this is the most important part on animation quality you can keep it like that. Where it says render options you need to click straight unmatted that's going to get no background for your animation that's what you want so make sure you click straight and matted and then just click render. When our video is rendered, you will need to insert it above the first clip and you will get an effect like this. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for my next tutorials.